What's up, reptile fans? Dave Palumbo here, and we're going to be talking about onyx boas today. That's pretty, uh, a pretty rare morph here in the United States. Uh, from my good friend, Frey Knut, in uh, Amsterdam, I got uh, this onyx boa. Here's one of the females I bought. I bought a bunch of them from him. And the onyx uh, gene is a, it darkens up the pattern. This, this girl's in the shed, but this is the mama, so I wanted to just show you her. I'm going to show you the babies we produce. This is an onyx bower, and once again, you can see it's a darkened pattern. Uh, you can see some, the saddles have been uh, kind of messed up a little bit. You see that iridescence in her, in her coat. And uh, when you see the super form of this, it's, it's pretty much a jet black snake. It's pretty, you know, pretty dark. And this girl happens to be onyx and het for blood and het for T positive. And it's the Honduran T positive. This is what we call Central American boa. And all the traits in here are Central American. And because of that, they're small boas. They're dwarf boas. You might have heard the term dwarf boa. And this is exactly one of them. This, this girl has lived her whole life in a, in a V70 tub, which is a ball python tub. And she actually gave birth in that. And you guys, after the break, you're going to see what we got. All right, here we go. We got our litter. We got six babies only, but they were good ones. And once again, onyx to, excuse me, we bred a hypo onyx double head for blood and T positive to a female that was just an onyx double head for blood T positive. We found out, as you'll see, that we had an extra gene added in there. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna save that for the end, but for now, let's, let's take a look at what we got here. Let me just, um, I'm gonna see which one I wanna start with here. This, okay, which is a really cool looking baby, is a hypo, as you can see the red, onyx. And you can see the weird aberrant pattern here. Uh, look, if you look at the sides, you got some of this craziness going on here on the sides. And the reds that are coming out are because of the hypogene. Because the onyx is a dark, is a dark morph, kind of like leopard. But when you strip away some of that darkness, there's red under there. There's a lot of red. I'd actually love to see a, an onyx or a super onyx, you know, albino. Probably be really cool. But we're going to see a T-positive albino in a little bit. But anyway, this is the hypo onyx. Okay, we didn't hit the super onyx. Let's put her back. Okay. Now, one step closer is I'm going to show you that this is, here's, here's one of the, um, I guess you could say the surprise genes of the litter. I took her, I saw her and she shed out and I'm like, wait a minute. This is definitely hype, this is definitely hypo and this is definitely onyx. You can even see the stripe that sometimes you see that in the onyx. But there's no red in it. I'm like, what happened? And then I realized what happened. There's an, there's an anery gene, which we all know floats around these Central American boas a lot that must have been hidden here. Probably each parent was a, was a carrier of, of the anery gene. And once again, aneurysmic type two will remove the red pigment and you get what's basically a, a hypoonyx with the no red in it. <laughs> I don't know what we would call this, but it's pretty cool. And it's got a really cool stripe. So here's, um, once again, an onyx, hypoonyx that's also aneurysmic, which would make this a ghost, right? When you combine anery and hypo, you get a ghost. So this is a ghost, um, a ghost onyx right here. Now let's let them go back in there. We're going to go one step further now. This is a sun glow or T positive sun glow. This is a hypo T positive. We hit the T positive here, onyx. Okay, you see that nice little stripe down the tail. So as you can see, the T positive really lightens it up a lot more. Um, and because we have the hypo gene, it becomes, we call it a sun, T positive sun glow that's an onyx as well. And remember, all these babies that haven't, you know, that aren't showing the blood gene or anything like that are 66% head blood. This also would be a 66% aneurysmic too, because we obviously know the parents are, are carriers, as we can see in the anery we produced before. So that's a pretty nice snake, right? You're like, hey, we're, we're getting really nicer. We're lightening up things quite a bit. And then we go one step further. This was, I think, the, 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 I guess you could say, lottery ticket of the litter. Um, I don't know if it's picking up right here, the, the, the red, red color, but this is a blood T 
T-positive. I think we, a lot of people call this the El Diablo. Um, so it's a T-positive blood. Uh, it also has the hypogene in it. So it's a T-positive hypo blood. We didn't hit, I don't think we hit the onyx gene. I don't see any onyx in this. So that would have been the only thing that would have been better if we could have gotten onyx into this. Obviously, um, this is also a 66% aneurytheristic as well. But this one is pretty much about as clean as it gets. I don't know if we can somehow calm this little snake down a little bit. We're losing, we're losing snakes all over the place here. <laughs> um, once again, I, I actually really love the red, red color here. I would have loved to see an onyx in this uh, because I think it would have been even redder. Uh, I'm going to obviously keep this girl back. I'll breed her back probably uh, to a male onyx, maybe back to the father if necessary. Um, and we can see if we can make this even redder because this is just incredible here. Oh, you want to join the, the party? If we put these together, you can actually see if we can compare these guys. You can see the, the, the difference with this one to this one. This has got the blood gene. This is no blood gene. Now, the way you can tell if there's a blood gene is you look at that eye. See that black eye? That's blood. When you've got a black eye, you know you hit the visual blood. This one, obviously, not so black, this eye. But this is pretty cool nonetheless. Um, once again, to have such a small litter and have such a, a good outcome, to me, that says that the odds gods were, 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 were watching over me. They weren't so nice earlier in the year, but they've been pretty nice at the end of the season. Uh, some of these will be available. Uh, if you want to contact me, uh, feel free. Um, I haven't really even sexed these yet. The only one I know for sure, now I know this is a female. I wish she was a male, but she turned out to be a female. Uh, this one, I'm not sure. I haven't sexed them yet, but once again, I'll be doing that over the next couple days. Uh, the Onyx project is still in its infancy. I have another female, hopefully, that will go this year if, if she continues eating. Uh, once again, they're small boas. They don't breed so young. You can't beef them up real fast. You got to kind of let them just grow at their own pace. They don't eat every week. They'll eat every other week sometimes. Uh, they're, they're still, some of them are still eating just small mice or, or really small rats. And they take, you got to take the time. So you might have to wait four or five years for these females to breed. But you know, when they do, it's really cool and you don't need a lot of room. And that's, that's what's so special about a dwarf boa. Uh, they, you have all the coolness of a boa, but they don't get super big and you don't have to worry about housing them and, and you know, taking up a lot of space. If you have a limited you know, type of sit living situation and you only keep them in one room, hey, it's like having a ball python. You know? think, about dwarf pi uh, <laughs> think about dwarf boas. Uh, I think that they're going to be the next big thing. And especially since the, all these new color variations are kind of coming into them, they become a lot more appealing. If you like what you're seeing, hit like below. Make sure you hit the subscribe and turn on your notifications. I'm Dave Palumbo with another edition of Muscle Serpents University.